Okay, so you guys probably know this by now, but I love doing these videos from time to time where I do like a little experiment on my Instagram and see if you notice. I don't wanna say I'm trying to trick you guys, but like, let's be real. I, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to trick you guys. <laughs> but y'all are freaking smart. You guys always know when something's up. And it's so funny to me whenever I'm not doing one of these videos, sometimes I'll see comments popping up on my regular Instagram photos being like, wait, does anyone else think this is for a video? It's just, it's so, it's so fun. I really like it. I face tuned my photos for a week. I followed a five minute crafts guide to becoming Insta famous. I styled drugstore clothes. And this week I am gonna try to style clothes from Walmart into trendy Instagrammable outfits and see if you guys notice. A lot of the time, I think there seems to be this idea that the only way to put together cute outfits is to spend a lot of money. But the truth is that with a little bit of creativity, you can find cute stuff pretty much anywhere and with any budget. I mean, thrift store, hand-me-downs, Walmart. Like it might take a little bit longer to find cute stuff in your size and your style, but it's there. Even if you have to weed through stuff like this and this and my all-time favorite, this. <laughs> I spent a long time scrolling through the Walmart website last week. I ordered some stuff and I'm gonna try to put together five outfits for five photos with Walmart-centric Instagram outfits. Okay, so since I was ordering all of these items online instead of actually going into the store and getting to try them on, cause you know, global pandemic. I got some backup options in case the sizing of anything doesn't work or one of the pieces just isn't gonna work altogether. We have options, which I'm really glad I did because just from unboxing these and hanging them up, there is one piece I know a thousand percent is not gonna work. And that is these shorts. <laughs> So I saw these on the website. I thought they looked pretty cute. I ordered them in an extra, extra large. Look at how small these are. These, there's literally, there's no way. Like I'm not even gonna bother trying them on. These are tiny. And when I first unboxed these, I was like, oh no, like did I mess up sizing on this entire video? Because for most of the pieces, I ordered an extra large. And then I think in two of them, I ordered another option in a 2XL just in case. And this was one of the ones that came in a 2XL. And I was like, I have vastly underestimated the sizing of Walmart. But it seems like the rest of them run a little bit more true to size or even a little bit big. So these are just gonna go in the Poshmark pile. If anyone wants to check these out, link to my Poshmark in the description. We donate everything that we make on there to charity. So if you want some Walmart shorts that are in an extra large, but more like a small, Check it out. Okay, now on to the next thing that I'm actually really excited to try on and that is this swimsuit. So I thought it would be really fun to try and find a swimsuit from Walmart. And when I saw this one on their website, I thought it looked really, really cute, especially the top. It's like, it has a strap, but then it's like off the shoulder and flowy. Like it's very my style. And the bottoms look really cute too. So I'm excited to try this. Let's try it on, hopefully it works. But before we do that, actually, I got an accessory to go with this that I thought would be really fun for the photo. And that is, this floppy hat that says do not disturb. And I feel like I have a vision for this photo, like me laying out by the pool with the hat, like half covering my face. I just really hope this swimsuit works. Okay, this literally fits me like a glove. If you guys saw my airy video from a couple weeks ago, I talked about how I hate when swimsuits are a little bit big and you get the saggy butt. There is no saggy butt here. The fabric is like, perfect for my body, but it's not stretching at all. I think I got this, yes, I got this in a 2XL and I love the look of this. It fits me perfectly, it looks really cute. I feel like I'm gonna get a ton of use out of this. I really, really like it. And then of course we have the hat. So I feel like this tilt it down like this or something for the picture. I feel like this is gonna be probably the easiest outfit to style. I mean, there's not even really any styling I have to do. It's just Walmart swimsuit, Walmart hat, take the picture good to go. Next, I wanted to try either a, like a romper, a jumpsuit or a dress. And I saw this one on the website and it had some really positive reviews. So I thought it was worth giving a shot in person. It looks really, really cute. It's brown, it has the white stripes, the button front, it has a tie waist for definition, which y'all know I love. I've got high hopes for this, so let's try it on. When I just put this on and I was like looking in the mirror to see what it looked like, I put my hands on my hips and they just gently slipped into the wonderful embrace of a pocket. This jumpsuit has pockets. Aside from the fact that we stand pockets on this channel, um, this jumpsuit actually just looks and fits really, really nicely. The crotch is like slightly awkwardly long, but I think if I just kind of like 
puff it up over the belted waist. Yeah, that's like perfect. This is so comfy. It's loose fitting, but the tie waist gives nice definition. It's breezy, it's lightweight. I'm pretty sure it's made out of linen. And my biggest concern with this was that it might be too long, but the length is like perfect. I think I'll style this with maybe like brown booties and some gold accessories, maybe some hoops. I think this is gonna be really, really cute. And I think I'm gonna get a ton of wear out of this also. It's just really comfy and easy to wear. The next photo I wanted to do was some sort of graphic tee. And then I was thinking I could crop it into a crop top. So I got two options for this. We'll try both and then we'll pick one. So I was perusing the men's graphic tees and I saw this Pizza Planet shirt like from Toy Story. And I'm a huge Disney nerd. So any opportunity to have some Disney magic on my Instagram, I am all about. So I was thinking I could crop this, wear it with like sweatpants or shorts and maybe order pizza and then do like a cute little photo shoot at home having pizza on the couch. Or option two, I also thought this was very cute. It's just a little white graphic tee and it says California on it. So we'll try both of these on and we'll pick one for the photo, for the feed. Okay, so I was intending to try this on with leggings, but I got it in a 2XL and it's long enough to kind of be like a dress or at least a night shirt. And I don't think I want to crop this anymore. I think I want to leave it long. I want to go team no pants and take like a cute little photo with this as like a t-shirt dress, comfy at home. Like I, I really like the idea I said earlier about like ordering pizza and using that as a prop. And I was thinking about it and I have a pair of YouTube socks that are like the same colors of this, just red and white. So I could wear those and do a cute little pose where I like lift my leg up. I don't know. I, I, I have an idea for it and I still have to try on the other graphic tee, but I, I really like this. I think this is gonna be a really cool photo. Okay, so this is the other graphic tee. This one's in an XL and I really like the look of this. I'm definitely gonna crop it. I think I'll actually get a ton of wear out of this. It looks like I, I have a lot of graphic tees from Hollister and I get a ton of wear out of those. So I think if I crop this into a cute little boxy crop, it will definitely fall into that category of like my most worn graphic tees. But I don't think I'm gonna use it for this video because like I said, I wanna do five photos and I think it's just too similar to the Pizza Planet shirt. So this is definitely gonna stay in my closet, but uh, it's not gonna make it into the video. It is a really cute shirt though. I really like it. My next idea, I love button front shirts. I wear a lot of like dad shirts where I tie them to give definition at my waist or I wear them open with like a bandeau underneath. And I saw this one from their Time and True brand that is just like my favorite shade of blue. And I thought the stripes were really, really cute. Honestly, I feel like this looks like something that you would get at like Madewell. I think I have a shirt somewhat like this from Madewell in my closet. So I thought this could be really, really cool. Nice little summer moment, maybe tie it up. Let's try it on. Again, another piece I really, really like from Walmart. I think this shirt looks super cute. I feel like I could totally wear it long like this with leggings, but I think the way I would probably most often wear it and the way I wanna wear it for the Instagram photo is unbuttoning it. I think I'll probably just unbutton it all the way, tie it up like this, wear it nice and loose and open open with the bando. Super cute look. I'm excited about this one. And last but not least, there was that whole thing going on a little while ago where everyone was talking about how Champion has become this kind of like bougie, athleisure, like street style brand. But only like 10 years ago when I was growing up, they were a Walmart brand. And Walmart actually still carries a lot of Champion hoodies, but most people don't even know that. And so they just buy them for way more expensive from like Urban Outfitters or from Champion themselves. I got this Champion jacket, this white sweatshirt. It has like the blue and red and white stripe. I got this in both an extra large and an extra extra large just to see whichever one fits best. And whichever one I don't like as much, I'll just list on my Poshmark. That way it doesn't go to waste and we can give some money to charity too. So I'm wearing the XL in the champion hoodie. And with my jackets, I don't usually like a super loose fit. I feel like hoodies can sometimes like swallow up my body and hide it, especially if they're a little bit big. But this one I feel like fits me perfectly. Like honestly, exactly kind of how I want a hoodie to fit. I'm gonna try on the 2XL just to make sure, but I think this one's gonna be it. Now I'm wearing the 2XL and honestly, I don't notice that big of a difference in the fit. Like if I had just tried this one on, I would have been like, cool, it's perfect. If I would have just tried the first one on, I would have been like, cool, it's perfect. But if I'm gonna choose, I think I just slightly favor the XL. So I'll list this one on my Poshmark. Also, I forgot to say earlier, but for the second quarter and the third quarter of 2020, all of the Poshmark sale proceeds are gonna be donated to the Okra Project, which is a charity that supports black 
Black trans people. It's a great organization. I will also link them and a bunch of other donation outlets and resources for supporting the Black community and Black Lives Matter in the description. Highly recommend checking them out and donating if you can. All right, so my rack is empty. I am ready to style these items and take some cute Instagram photos with Steven and uh, see if I can jerk you guys. Let's do it. to take our first photo. I am sporting the champion hoodie for this one. I decided to just keep this one very simple, chill, like at home quarantine athleisure look. So I paired it with some simple bike shorts and a white scrunchie with a little half up pony. Also, this might be the best hair day I've had in a really long time. So I'm glad I'm at least putting it to use with an Instagram photo. And I'm thinking I'm just gonna like sit up here against the banister, do like a little sitting down pose. Maybe the dogs will join me if they're in the mood. But I feel like this is actually really cute. And I think the best part about this outfit is the champion hoodie, the Walmart piece, is definitely like the focal point of the outfit. I'm not trying to like hide it or disguise it with other pieces. And as far as at home outfits go, I feel like this is pretty cute. What do you guys think? You want to be part of an Instagram photo? The gang's all here. Who's a good girl? Aw, you guys are cute. And now you are cute. You. you know all your angles. photo that I posted, I captioned it Zoom meeting casual. And I just thought that Bella and Bruiser looked so freaking cute in this photo. So I had to pick one that they were in. And like all of the comments on this photo focused on one of three things, either talking about the dogs and how cute they looked or talking about my hair. Like I said, I was having a pretty good hair day the day that we took this picture. And it definitely did not go unnoticed in the comments. I would actually say the vast majority of the comments were about my hair. <laughs> and then there also were a few comments about the outfit. A lot of people seem to really like this outfit and specifically the champion hoodie, which I thought was really cool because that was the Walmart piece in the shot. But in the first photo, no one seemed to be catching on that there was anything out of the ordinary going on here. All right, it is time for our second photo. And since I first saw this blue and white striped button up on the Walmart website, I had a very clear vision for it because this is like my daily style to a T. I pretty much wear some variation of this outfit at least a couple times a week. So I paired it with this white stretchy bandeau from Aerie and these high-waisted shorts from Hollister. And then I have these really cool white earrings that I actually got from the brand Soleil and Clay in the part two of my video where I bought products from my followers' small businesses. And she actually named the use the Sierra earring, which is so freaking cool. And I just thought they tied this outfit together perfectly. And then I also have a little silver necklace. So we're in our backyard. I thought this would be a cool spot with like little palm fronds coming down. Let's take the picture. All right, I think we got it. Thanks, Steven. Number two, I loved the outfit in this photo and I just loved the way the whole thing came out. And actually this photo was the most liked photo from this whole week. So clearly you guys agreed. There were a lot of comments about the earrings actually. And Soleil and Clay, the brand of the earrings that I'm wearing actually commented. I would say the earrings were probably the thing that was most commented about on this photo. They are really cute earrings, so makes sense. I saw one comment from Maya that said rare serious seer which I just thought was so funny and so true. I get roasted all the time because in all my Instagram photos, I do this face. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm a smiley person. But I did give a serious face in this photo and it was one of only like two or three serious faces I gave when Steven and I were taking this photo. So it's kind of funny that that's actually the one I ended up posting. And I got a comment from Tori who was the first person to catch on that there may be something going on with these photos. And she said, I'm always suspicious that her posts are for a video because of her past tricking subscribers videos. And that had 27 likes and I actually liked it. Just to give a little hint 
hint that maybe there is something, something a little fishy going on. But I just think it's so funny that you guys know me so well at this point that you can tell. You can tell when I'm just posting on Instagram and when I'm posting on Instagram for a video. And then there were quite a few comments saying that they liked the outfit. The thing that people seemed to focus on with the outfit was the shorts I was wearing, which are actually from Hollister. And I did tag those. I also tagged the blue and white striped shirt as Madewell, even though we know it's from Walmart, just to see if I could throw you guys off the scent a little bit. And it does look like that shirt that I have from Madewell, but there were two comments, two on photo number two, that seemed to suspect that maybe these photos had something to do with Walmart. Elizabeth Weedman commented, is that top from Walmart? And Chives on the side said, I got a top just like that from Walmart. Are you doing another video where you try to pass the lower cost things off as high end? Yes, I am Chives on the side, but I didn't want to admit it because we're only on photo number two. Photo number three, I am in the Walmart swimsuit and the do not disturb hat. So my idea for this photo, if you can't tell by the way I'm sitting right now, is like an above the head shot of me laying down with the do not disturb hat maybe covering my whole face or maybe half my face with me peeking out. I don't think I've ever taken a photo like directly above <laughs> like this, so it might take a little while to figure out, but uh, I've got Steven here to help me. Let's do it. A lot of people seem to really like the composition of this photo actually, and it was definitely unique compared to the photos I usually post on Instagram. I feel like I usually just post regular outfit photos and I've actually never taken a photo like this from above, I don't think. And I was a little nervous when I first had the idea for this photo that I wasn't gonna be able to get the shot right, but it actually turned out really cute and we didn't even have to take that many photos to get it. A lot of people specifically said they liked the swimsuit and the swimsuit bottoms. And there were actually two comments from girls who said they have this swimsuit. One said she got it on Amazon and the other said she got it on Shein. So I'm not sure if it's the exact same swimsuit and maybe Walmart just uses the same manufacturer or if it was just a similar swimsuit because I feel like this is not like a particularly unique design. And there were quite a few comments on this post suspecting that something was up. Karen Ugard said, gorgeous, new video involving Insta soon. Two posts with four pics in 18 to 19 hours, we love. And that's when I realized that I think some Sometimes what gives me away on these videos is just the consistency of posting on Instagram. Cause I feel like usually I, I maybe only post on Instagram once or twice a week and I had posted three photos on back to back days. So after this post, I decided to wait two days to post the next one. Just because I realized if, if Karen's catching on, I'm sure other people are catching on. Creative Wanderer 13 said, after watching your channel for a bit, I feel like these posts are for a bit of some sort, LOL. You are correct. <laughs> Miss Emily Grace said, pretending to be on vacation while in quarantine video? No, but that would be a really fun video. <laughs> and Tabby Rosenthal said, two fire picks back to back. Call me a skeptic, but I feel like this is for a video. <laughs> Number four, I am in my Pizza Planet shirt, which as I said in the try on, I'm just gonna wear as like a dress. And then I have these white and red YouTube socks that I got at VidCon last year. So I thought that would be a really fun way to kind of tie it together since it's the same colors. And the cherry on top of all of it, we order pizza. So Pizza Planet, pizza. And I'm not really sure how I wanna pose for this photo. I was thinking maybe I'll just stand, maybe I'll sit on the counter, I could sit on one of these stools. But I know for sure I wanna hold maybe the pizza box and the slice or maybe just a slice of pizza. This is gonna be a fun photo though. I'm really excited for this one. So let's take it so we can eat. Oh my God, I love it. That is so cute. Number 
number four might be my personal favorite from the week. I captioned it just here to remind you that all food is guilt free with the little kissy emoji and the pizza emoji. As much as this is just like a lighthearted video about Walmart clothes and Instagram photos, I do just want to talk about this for a sec because I feel like there is 100% this double standard when it comes to plus size women in particular and food. I just don't subscribe to the idea of like pinning thin women and plus size women against each other. So that's not at all what I'm trying to do here. But there is very much this idea that when a thinner woman likes pizza or junk food or like whatever else, it's like a quirky personality trait. But if I post a photo or another plus size blogger posts a photo talking about food or pizza or whatever, we are glorifying obesity. We're spreading unhealthy messages. It's just, it's still pizza no matter who's eating it. And I think we're very much made to feel like when we enjoy foods like that, we should feel guilty or it has to be a cheat day. And I just really don't like that dialogue. And that's something that I definitely struggled with on my own confidence journey for many, many years and I'm still working through. So I just wanted to sprinkle a little bit of that message in with this photo since I was posing with pizza. And there were a lot of really awesome comments about the caption, some from like my friends too, which I thought was really nice. And there were so many comments about my shirt of people saying they wanna know where the shirt's from. They love the shirt, they want the shirt. I saw one girl who said that her husband was actually wearing that shirt right now. And apparently this shirt is also sold in Target in the men's section. I saw that pop up a few times in the comment section. And I saw a couple comments uh, about the YouTube socks, which I thought was a fun little Easter egg to sprinkle in there. And it was actually really cool to see that there were some people who noticed such a small detail like that of YouTube socks. And I do think I threw some of you guys off the scent of this being for a video in that I waited a couple days to post the fourth photo, but I did see a few comments catching on. Madison Edens said, so cute. Literally anytime there's more than one upload in a week, I'm wondering what video is coming. And a couple people commented on that saying they thought the same thing. And then Jod Hesse commented, Walmart clothes tagged for higher end. 100% you got it. And then there was another comment that didn't quite get it, but was a really good guess. And that was from McKenna Kirsten. She said, is this for an Instagram baddie photo shoots from home video? I'm suspicious of the four posts in a row, not complaining about the photos though, super cute. So now let's go take our last photo and see if, uh, we'll see how many people can actually guess what the video is with the last photo. It is time for our fifth Walmart Instagram photo. So I actually just finished setting up this new little Instagram corner in my house. I'm still waiting on one more piece to finish it off, but I feel like it's it's good enough to debut on the Instagram for right now. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna do like a little mirror selfie outfit photo. Probably just use my phone. I have a Sony camera that I usually use for my Instagram photos, but I feel like for a mirror selfie, iPhone's the way to go. So let's do it. Let's take this photo. Little Instagram tip, if you're taking photos with your phone, always wipe off the lens before. We use our phones so much and it's just bound to happen. The camera's gonna get dirty. And it makes your photos look so much more crisp and clear when it's clean. I let you guys know in the caption that something was up because I wanted to get as many guesses in as I could. By far, the most guessed video idea was that I was doing no makeup Instagram photos, which is technically true. In all of these photos, I wasn't wearing any makeup except for eyebrow gel and mascara. But as you guys know, now that you're watching this video, that wasn't the theme of this. That's just kind of been something that I have been doing for me. Over the past couple months, I've kind of been experimenting with wearing less and less makeup up and I've really been liking it. I've become a lot more confident in just my own skin, but I had still convinced myself I needed to wear makeup when I was sitting down filming main channel videos because I have these studio lights here so it gets really bright and I was worried it was gonna totally wash me out. But once I tried it, I realized like, yeah, maybe I look a little bit washed out, but it's it's not that bad. And I got used to it surprisingly quick. It's now been probably over a month since I've worn any makeup other than eyebrow gel and mascara, which has been really cool. I've really enjoyed it, but 
but not for the video. One comment from Meals7 said, maybe posing typical positions that plus size folks aren't supposed to pose in, like sitting, eating pizza, etc. And I really like that video idea. I feel like some of my favorite videos to do are kind of subverting expectations and conquering my own fears and insecurities about being plus size. You know, like when I did those videos where I broke plus size fashion rules, I feel like I had so much fun with those videos and it really helped me personally conquer those fashion fears. And so I really like this idea. I feel like I could totally do a video like that. Kara Sagal said, are they completely unedited? No, they are not. I still added filters from Visco, but I don't use any Photoshop or Facetune on my photos. I don't smooth anything. I don't edit my body, but I do like to enhance the colors in my photos just to make them pop a little bit more. Lena Hill on tour said, I can't believe you tricked us again. I know, I'm sorry. It's just too fun. Tori Zito said, copying someone's photos, not quite, but I do do a lot of those videos. Julianne Herrera said, trying out recent outfit trends for a week. Kim Alzot said, they're all timer picks, which I actually recently watched a video like that from Nikki and Gabby, another channel here on YouTube, where they did like a self timer photo challenge. And I thought it was so freaking cool. So I would be super down to do a video like that. Let me know down in the comments if you guys would wanna see that. And there were a lot of comments on this photo. There were like a thousand. So I didn't get to read all of them, but from the ones I did read, I saw four who guessed Walmart, who actually got the video correct. Megan Friend said Walmart clothes. Erica Marie 37 said styling clothes from Walmart slash unpopular brands and tagging it as popular. Neeld 432 said, this is from Walmart. I have the same one. Kimber 1996 said, girl, you bought all your clothes from Walmart for a week. I have two of the items you're wearing. You caught me red-handed. <laughs> so I thought it was pretty cool that quite a few of you were actually able to guess what the video was, but there was someone who went above and beyond and I was reading through my DMs and I saw a DM from a viewer named Abby and I clicked on it. And not only had Abby figured out that the video was styling Walmart clothes, she had gone onto the Walmart website and tracked down every single piece <laughs> that I was wearing. I was so impressed. I was like, Abby, you are the detective queen. You are the winner of this video. I thought that was just so fantastic. And she gave me permission to show the DMs in the video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments, which of the Instagram photos was your favorite. And if you follow me on Instagram, did you have any idea that there was something going on last week? I really enjoy doing these videos. It's fun to like document the process, try to be creative with my styling and to see what you guys catch on to. Also, hopefully this was a fun little experiment to show that you can make cute Instagram worthy outfits from any store and any brand and whatever clothes you have access to. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Be confident, be kind to your body. And I will see you guys on Tuesday actually with a bonus video. Bye. 